there's a degree of uncertainty about this engine. What I do know about it is that it's made by Martin. And it's a, a type which is generally known of known as a, a donkey engine. I don't know what its official name was or number. I also know that Marklin did make some this or similar engines um, more or less in this state, although it probably had some sort of base as this one's completely open at the bottom. But they also made uh, <coughs> made uh, engines, for instance, uh, a crane engine, and there's holes on the front here where the jib would have been attached, and where the um, the shaft for the for the drum would have been mounted which all sorts of implies that this was originally a crane engine but it has been suggested that the holes might have been drilled anyway um, whether the, the jib was fitted or not I don't know um, the holes aren't threaded but then they might not have been threaded, they might have been held on, the jib might have been held on with nuts and bolts. So I don't really know how complete this is. I suspect it's not complete anyway because there's no base and there's certainly no, and there's no chimney, there should have been a chimney there. The uh, safety valve I've got is a modern Willesco one. When I got it, it was a, in extremely poor condition. Uh, wasn't even steam tight. It was dented right in it on the top here. I had to open it up and remove the, the dents and fit a, a bush for the safety valve. cylinder and piston were in pretty poor condition. The crank web was uh, was broken. The crank, crank pin had been soldered on. Um, so I've uh, had to make a new crank web. The piston was so badly worn that uh, it just wouldn't run at all. The uh, tricock there is uh, completely jammed up solid, but fortunately it's <laughs> jammed in a closed position. This is a Mamad burner, it's not the original. The original is missing. I don't even know what uh, type it would have been fitted with.
For a long time I didn't know what to do about the piston. But uh, in the end, when I opened up the cylinder, I found that the piston had a very deep groove in it, which was almost but not quite filled up with thin cotton thread, which was completely useless. The piston was so worn that it was uh, somewhat smaller than the cylinder. So I, uh, I packed the, uh, I removed the cotton thread and packed the piston ring, piston groove, with uh, with some graphite uh, yarn that I had. And now it works, and it's not brilliant, but uh, it works. It's only single acting, but even so, the um, the end cap there, which supports the piston rod, um, makes oiling a bit difficult. But it is possible to work it some in. Not only did I have to do repairs to uh, the boiler and the cylinder to get it working, cosmetically it was in pretty awful condition. The cast iron base was beginning to rust, paint was all peeling off. The, uh, <coughs> the flywheel was also going rusty if I remember rightly. The flywheel is a bit wobbly, but seeing as it doesn't go at a very high speed anyway, it's not much of a problem. I mentioned the fact that uh, Marklin made this in the form of a crane, which I believe was uh, was in either a, a railway type chassis or on a fixed stationary one and it was also made made by Marklin but branded and sold by other manufacturers such as Bassett Oak I believe and This uh, arched cosmetic bit there 
which in this one is blank. Um, did, I believe, have markings on depending on who it was who sold it. I mean, if it was somebody like Bassett Oak, it would have been in English. Marking the original probably would have been in German. And I, I, instead of a name, I think it had forward and reverse or something like that marked on it. Because the, there is here a valve. To reverse it. It doesn't have a slip eccentric like uh, is often found on reversing toy steam engines. as I said he's missing but um, I've got some tube on order some brass tube so I can make a, a replacement the exhaust is not fed up of, of the chimney unfortunately That just uh, comes out of that the pipe at the bottom there. Another mysterious thing about this engine is that the, as can be clearly seen here, the centre line of the cylinder is quite a way off from the centre line of the crankshaft and it appears to be deliberate I've no idea why because there's no way that the cylinder can be mounted in any other way and even if it's a wrong cylinder the bit where the cylinder is mounted is pointed in that direction. 